What up you guys, Gabriel Ryder here, or some people like to call me Gabe Ryder for short. Either way is fine with me. I've been getting a lot of questions lately on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, you know, they're going, Gabe, you're so jacked, uh, you're cut out of your mind, you're like a gorilla in a human's body, um, you're swollen, you know, how did you get like that? And first of all, I just want to say thank you for noticing, you know, how much work I put in my body because honestly, I do work out a lot. With that being said, I would say it comes down to persistence, consistence, discipline, and dedication, okay? I'm here working the pro shop, but I still get it in. I get a full body workout right here in the pro shop while I'm working. I'm gonna show you guys some of the exercises you can do around your pro shop to get cut, okay? It's all about being resourceful, it's about being creative, and always having fun. The first thing I wanna show you guys is below my feet. Okay, we have my own balance board here, okay? As you can see, the chair is flipped upside down. You know why? Because a chair is for whippy little wussy girls, okay? I don't need a stinking chair, I've got a balance board. So while I'm, uh, you know, checking in customers, I'm on here working on my coordination, ankle strength, balance. It's actually absolutely amazing, okay? On it, you, you, look at this thing, you can, do, you can do balance, you can do some squats, works on stabilizing the core, got the normal squats. Maybe, maybe I can do a little pistol squat for you guys. It's a little harder here. All the way down. All the way up. Wow, that's hard. So that's that. All right, you guys. You know, we worked the quad, the little, little bit of the legs. Now I'm going to show you something maybe for the lats, maybe for the back. I'm not really sure what this works out, but I do it anyways. I'm just going <laughs> to just gonna get this. I like, I like to look in the window. Just kind of arch the back, kind of stick the butt out, and just... Shh, ah, shh, ah. This is just a normal rental set back here. Works the lat, works the back. I'm just getting it in, you know? Customers aren't coming in, I'm getting it in, you know what I'm saying? And uh, maybe we, we want to work those pecs out. You know, get that round, full, cupping pectoral muscles going, okay? Maybe a little bit of triceps, the standard push-up. Wherever there's a floor, you can do a push-up. Push-ups right now, I'm feeling a little swollen in the pecs, a little bit in the tries, a little bit in the buys. It's looking good, those are your push-ups. And uh, maybe we wanna work on those triceps a little more, find any table around, and we can just bust out some dips. The farther you put out your legs, the harder it is. Get that range of motion, maybe even put a foot out. Ah, yeah. And I just do this, you know, a little bit around the day. It's just little things every day, done consistently, that get big results, okay? That's the dips. All right, you guys, I got the coffee pots here filled with water to the brim, all right? These things look light, and they are, but they feel heavy to me, okay? I can just do some shoulder exercises with these, you know, high repetitions. These things are heavy, but it's all about form. And the best thing about working out with these things is if you get a little thirsty, take a little sip. <laughs> Maybe we can do some squats, you know, hold them out. Oh, it's nice, yeah. Yeah, hands get a little shaky. The idea is to not spill the water. All right, here we are with Brandon. He is my trainer. He basically set this routine up for me. His philosophy is basically to work with what you have. Obviously, we're not in a gym with a lot of weights, a lot of machines, so we have to use the environment around us for our benefit. Brandon, do you want to share some words? Uh, you know, I just grew up in a less fortunate uh, area and uh, learned to use, uh, you know, baseball bat, uh, rock, stuff like that. So I'll bring that on to the future right here. Yeah. It's all about creativity. And like I said, he grew up in the ghetto with a real hard... Uh, VC, baby. VC, Valley Center. Yep. So a hard up style. And, you know, he had to work with things around him. Tree stubs, axes, you know, rocks. Uh, he, he would even work out with paper, you know. Massive amounts. <laughs> but uh, that's Brandon. He's my trainer. Little bit of a bench press, you know, have your knees up, really engages the core. Just getting creative, you know, I usually do this behind the pro shop when no one's looking, you know, it gets slow late in the afternoon. All right, what up you guys? We have just a normal table here. You could find this at any pro shop. Grab a couple chairs. I'll bring them over for you in the line. And you could just do some more dips. Now, all about the dips is range of motion. You want to go deep and you want to come back up nice and slow. So you just go down, up, down. Up, yeah. All the way down, good range of motion, up. Maybe put your hands, I'll do a little L-sit, really works on the abs. 
down. Up. And those are my friends, some nice gnarly dips. All right, guys, we've got a trash can here. You're gonna find this at any golf course. Do maybe some sort of power cleans. It doesn't really matter as long as you do something. <sighs> That's gonna really work your legs, you know, work your shoulders going up, maybe a little bit of back. Great exercise. That's the Power Clean Trash Can. All right, what if you guys, a couple napkin boxes. I'm gonna do what they call the Russian twist, okay? It's really gonna hit those abs, those obliques, those good turning muscles for the golf swing. Just kind of hold them like this, together, lift your legs up, side to side. Really work on the obliques. It's okay if you move your legs, it's counteracting the weight when you go side to side. So stabilize that core. Really just tighten those up each side. And that, my friends, is the napkin obliques. As you can see, we have a normal table here that we might use for tournaments, setting up some sort of decorations. Who cares? But what I do care about is getting jacked. Okay, I'm gonna use this table for curls. Now, it's obviously not gonna be that heavy, but it's all about getting that squeeze in at the top. Here we go. You want straight back, move those hips forward. And I'm working on my fingertip strength. I'm just holding this by my fingers. And I just squeeze it at the top. And that, my friends, is the bicep table curl. All right, guys, here we are back with the rental set, a very versatile piece of workout equipment while you're in the pro shop. I'm about to do some um, shoulder lifts, I don't know, but I do know it works out your shoulders. So you wanna grab the bag by the strap on both sides pretty evenly, and what you wanna do is you just wanna kinda of squat and just bring them up, make sure your elbows are higher than your shoulders, and just focus on pulling with those shoulders. And that, my friends, is the rental set shoulder lifts. What up you guys, Gabe Ryder here, still here, never leaving, always coming back. Now we got the vacuum, sometimes I'll wipe down the tables, take out the trash vacuum, but these things are great for the triceps. I believe they're just called skull crushers or whatever they're called, but you'll see. I like to stand on my balance board, work on engaging those fiery muscles, work the core, and grab the handle here, <sighs> hold it like so, Dive! That, my friend, is the tricep vacuum skull crusher. All right, what up, you guys? Getting a little winded, but you don't stop. You keep going, never stopping, never slowing. Always showing what you got, and if in your boat, keep rowing. I don't know what I said, okay? Got some demo six irons here. Wrapped them up, made them a little bit heavier, okay? I call these the demo six iron chops, okay? All focusing on the obliques again, and always incorporating a little lower potty into everything. Here we go. Watch out! Heights! Swipe! Feel the rhythm! Feel the rhyme! Get all ready! It's Bob Steady time! What we really want to focus on is this downward movement and really squeezing those obliques. So it's a chop. Ah, it's a chop. Ah, always squatting, keeping that weight on your heels. You really want to fire these glutes. Fire the glutes. It's a chop, fire. Chop, fire. And let me tell you that, that is a fat burner, folks. I'm getting it in right now, and it feels great. Okay, you guys, here we go. We got our lost and found. People lose jackets, you know, coffee, coffee mugs, and we even have some head covers in here. You put these on, this is a great cardio fat burning workout, okay? Put this one on first, a little hard to get on. Basically, you just wanna do a little normal boxing. It's just, just like a three count. One, two, three. Upper guts. Hooks, and then what I like to call this next uh, step of punches 
It's called Beast Mode. Alright you guys, as you can see, I guarantee you, if you do this pro shop workout, you're going to get phenomenal results, okay? Like I said, just do a little bit every day, go into a local pro shop, look around, get creative, get resourceful, and you're going to get jacked out of your mind. And that's going to equate to hitting the ball farther, hitting it straighter, which is going to improve your scores, which is going to make you more money. Basically, your whole life set by working out in the pro shop. This is Gabriel Ryder, PureSwingTV.com, PGATourDriven.com. All right, I do giveaways each month on Facebook through YouTube. This month, I'm giving away an Ian Poulter signed hat and a tailor-made shirt. So go add me on Facebook, subscribe to me on YouTube. You're going to be happy you did. This is Gabriel Ryder saying thanks, and I'll see you soon.